Okay guys, quick update with Bitcoin. So I'm going to show you a little technique to help you find tops and bottoms. We recently, we recently used this to find uh, basically top when we pushed up and a point too long. I'm also going to show you some charts that show me that something big is coming and it's not good. And I'll give you key support and resistance levels to pay attention to. By the way guys, if you do not like this content, do not leave a like. And if you do not want to subscribe, do not click the subscribe button. It's that simple. So let's get into this. Let me show you this technique you can use. So you notice I have this trend line here, make it a little brighter so you can see it. So you'll notice we have a wick here, perfect contact, right here, perfect contact. By the way, I had this rewound back, price actions over here. I just want to show you how we found this top and how, how we found this bottom. So if you take this trend line, you can clearly see prices respecting it here. So if you take this and you control C, control V, make a copy, and we bring this trend line right up to uh, the top of this wick right here. This can give you a point if, if price pushes up to get rejected, and if it does get rejected, that confirms that this will hold as support. So I'm going to hit play and show you how this played out. Uh, let's see, play button, where's it at? Right here. All right, so hit play. You can see what happens. We got a perfect touch, almost a perfect touch up there. That is why I held my short uh, up to this point. Um, I, I was doing some hedge long trades. I'm still on my short. I'll show you that as well, guys. But you can see we got a perfect rejection here. So that confirms that this was in play. And look what happened. We got another, we got another, uh, when we dropped, we found perfect support right here. And we all long that point. You can see how much price pushed up. So this is a technique you can use for all different patterns. Look for a point that you're finding support and resistance, and then move that up to the top wick. It can help you find tops. It can help you find bottoms. So right now, I can tell you this. If price drops again, you know your next support, the next daily candle open, potentially, right? So this is our current daily candle. So if the next daily candle comes down, a point you might want to scalp along would be around 22635 If price just shot up, you know, today's candle, you're looking at 23,000, well, let's say that's right at 24,000. If it's the next daily candle, that would be around 24,104. So these are just some macro support resistance levels to pay attention to. I'm going to give you a, a support resistance on the smaller time frames as well. Now, guys, uh, this, this is where I made a post, that chart I just showed you here. Uh, this is where we longed it. Uh, this was a post I made yesterday, 8.14 p.m., said if 22.9k through 22.8k support breaks, next key support I will scalp along is 22.5k on the P1 chart. And you can see how it played out. Uh, we, we came right down to this point, we entered a long and price pushed up, and it pushed up quite a bit. You can see from that point, we pushed all the way back up, uh, almost, what, 1.80%. So again, this is just technique you can use to, uh, to find points to, uh, for support and resistance. So let's go on. So guys, I am still in my short, and I told you I was gonna hold it. I am scalping longs. So I did scalp a long from down here. This is where we found support on the P1 chart. I did get out early. I wish I would've stayed in longer, but in this market, sometimes it's better to take profit. I would like to point out we are in this pattern. It, again, I still believe we had a lot of downside. When I show you these other charts, it'll, it'll make more sense why I believe this is the case. Guys, if you do want to sign up to get to, uh, if you want to sign up to BigGit, my link is pinned down in the first comment and description. I trust the platform. They have proof of reserves. That's why I'll continue to use them. Uh, look into getting a VPN to protect your identity. And guys, if you do want to access these live charts, the website is optworkcrypto.com if you want to sign up. Soon I'll have stocks available. But right now it's just tutorials. $49 a month get you access to Bitcoin charts, Discord, and Twitter. So let's cover these charts that show me something big is coming. Sorry that beep, guys. I have an alert set. And every time I click a chart, it beeps. So first off, this is a Bitcoin chart. These are the guidelines I've been talking about. And yes, this, this is where I said we would get rejected. The guideline, we pushed above it. But I, I think... Price, they're pushing price up as high as possible because something big is coming. It's a liquidity grab. But I'm just going to show you these charts, and you can make your own opinion or what you think is going to happen. But I believe something big is coming. But if you notice each one of these lines on these guidelines, these white lines here with the arrows, notice that the MACD was way overextended, right? With this one here, each one of these arrows matched the arrow above. You can see the MACD was overextended. But, but how do you know that's not going to go higher? Well, that's where the guideline comes into play. You hit this point, it's a little overextended, it comes down. Same here. It was overextended, right? We came down. Over, way overextended here, and you can see we got rejected, we came down. It pushed up, right? Overextended, we hit the guideline, and we came down. 
Now this one we pushed above it. Again, I think they're pushing price up. This is a liquidity grab. They want to push this up as high as possible to get longs to sack, to liquidate shorts before a rug pull to come down. But look how far we're overextended right now. Uh, the last time we were this overextended was back in, uh, let's see, the 29th of March when this is that video I put out said everybody's short when we hit this line. We came down ever since. I do believe we're coming back down below this point. Just, just looking at you know, this line where we're at, how far overextended we are with the MACD, it seems like we have some downside. Now, these are other charts. These are under the stock section on my website. I will be updating these charts soon. Uh, these are just some charts I just want to show you. Now, this is oil. Now, keep in mind, inflation has come down a bit, but not by much. And we've already depleted our uh, strategic petroleum reserves, so we have to buy more oil. I do think oil is going to push up a bit, but something big is coming. If you notice these rings here, every time we hit one of these blue rings, you notice we, we get rejected, we come down, we cross the ring, we push up. We hit this next ring, we move down it, we cross, we push up. Now look at this ring. As soon as we pushed above it, we just rode down this ring till we found support and then went sideways. I would like to point out, we are coming up on this next ring. If you understand how these FIP circles work, there's no reason to think, if since we got rejected here, and here and here there's no reason to think when we hit this point we won't get rejected and I would like to point out where this arrow is at right now this is uh, this this is uh, let's see the 16th of February right where I have my, my mouse my cursor out here is the the 28th of February so something is going to happen it's possible we could go sideways we could push up right and we might be buying some oil to uh, replenish our uh, petroleum reserves which will send the price up and again this is going to be bad because the price of oil is going up and this is bad for inflation as well but i do think something soon is soon, soon is going to happen we're going to hit this ring and oil is going to plummet it's going to tank and when that happens guys if you notice right here when when oil peaked up here at this ring this was the peak for the indices so if if oil is coming down in price that means there's less demand for oil which means something is is wrong with the, the world economy because oil, you know, energy is what, what moves the economy. Uh, the This is my uh, Euro USD chart. This one's a little tougher. Um, I'm, I'm still watching to see what happens. Keep in mind, when, when the Euro is down, the DXY will push up. I would like to point out this, this yellow ring. Notice down here it was support. This has been a lot of, uh, as soon as we got above this ring, it was, it was resistance and support, but mostly support. You see, it was support through here. It was support through here. Support. We're above it now. We have pushed above these rings previously. So we pushed above it here a little bit, came back down, pushed above it, came back down. So it is possible that we could get rejected soon uh, with, with the euro. And if the euro gets rejected, the DXY will push up. And I would just po like to point out, this is a DXY. Uh, this, is, this is on the weekly, all right? This, this goes back to 1979. We're in a huge ass falling wedge. 1979 support, 1985 resistance. This is 1992 as support. This is 2001 as resistance. 2008 as support. 2018, we broke above this falling wedge and tested it as support. And a measured move is, is typically the distance of the mouth. So if, if things get really bad, we can see the DXY just push straight up. And I would like to point out how much just a small move of the DXY has an effect on Bitcoin. Uh, this, this right here, I was talking about this previous videos, previous charts. They expected the uh, DXY to top out around 105.5. Didn't expect it to come down this low. Notice we're finding support around 101. Just this move, which is a move of, and I measured this from, you can see right here. So this drop was a 3.77% drop. And again, you see it says here a blue ring cross for Bitcoin. Well, a drop of 3.77%. And this is that blue ring that they coincided when we topped out with the DXY. Look how much Bitcoin pushed up. This is that ring I said when we crossed the blue ring, expect a pump. I mean, we got one hell of a pump. I'll put a link up that video now if you want to check it out. <clears throat> so my point is, we could have a lot of upside for the DXY. And upside for the DXY means, look, if, if the DXY dropping means Bitcoin goes up, then when the DXY pushes up, that means Bitcoin can come down. All right, let's move on. So this is the IWM Russell. This is another chart with a ring. I just want to point out something's about to happen. If you understand how these rings work, these rings are pivot points. Notice we've been riding up this ring right here. It is very possible when we cross this ring, we can get a pivot to come down. That will happen very soon based on this chart. This is the VIX. And I would like to point out, guys, when 
whenever the VIX, all right, the, the VIX is in white and the S&P is in blue. Notice when the uh, S&P peaks, the, the volatility index, the VIX, is, is the lowest point, all right? Bottom for the VIX, top for the market. Bottom for the VIX, top for the market. Blue is the S&P. You can see right here, uh, the bottom, right, for the, um, the VIX, got a peak for the markets. Same thing right here. Uh, let's see. This was this was where the uh, the volatility index was at its highest point, and that was actually a bottom for the indices, right? Oh, hold on. So you can see that was a bottom. So I'm, what I'm pointing out is, you can see that currently the uh, VIX is in a falling wedge, which is a bullish pattern. So if this breaks to the upside, all right, VIX goes up, right? That means markets will come down. This could possibly be a peak, a peak for the markets. Something major is about to happen. It looks like the VIX is about to have a rip straight up, which means the markets will come down. This is the Dow Jones. This is the same with the NASDAQ, the S&P. We're testing our, our resistance. I mean, this, this, is, this is it. Either we get above, all right, so we got rejected here at 36,865. We got rejected again at 34,626. We got rejected again at 34,330. Either we get above this point, right, and and then we start finding support and then put in a higher high, and then markets are bullish, everything's going to go up, dollars continue down. Or we get rejected at this point, and we could have a lot of downside. This could be the start of the next leg down for the stock market. This is a chart I published on August 22nd, 2021. Guys, this chart has been dead on accurate. You can see I have this... Uh, this yellow vertical line in this arrow showing that something's going to happen when we hit this ring. Now, if you followed me for a while when I showed this chart, I expected us to move under this ring. We actually found support and rode down this ring. But what I'm interested in is this next ring here. So if I hit play, you can see this pretty much nailed the top for the for the Dow. As soon as we hit this point, we just rode down this ring as support, moved sideways. We're coming up on this next ring. Now this is a monthly, this chart's on the monthly right here. We're about to close this month soon and open the new month. It is very possible. You can see how well we respect these rings. We hit this ring, move down it, hit this ring, move down it, move down it, hit this one, got a major rejection, the white ring. This one we just rode across, we just passed through. This one it was support. So something major, if you use all of these charts combined, it shows something is about to happen within the next month. It is very possible that we could hit this ring and move down it to some major support levels. Again, if the markets come down, Bitcoin's coming down, and the dollar's going up. This is uh, just to show you, just an, just comparing Bitcoin to uh, the S&P and, and key support levels. Uh, back here was, um, this was, let me move this other way so you can see this. So this is back in 1998. We had a peak. Uh, this was in 2000. We bottomed on the support level in 2002. We had a peak in 2007, and we bottomed on the support level in 2009. Well, if you notice, this right here is a key support level. You can see we have a touch here, right? And we have a touch here. So if this gets bad, right, you know, we're talking about a 33% drop would take us to the support level. If we break that, well, you can see these are, these are two support levels we're respecting right now. That would be a 50% drop. And if you'll notice, Bitcoin was created while the markets were in an uptrend, right? And you can see how much Bitcoin pushed up. I mean, Bitcoin has just on, been on a tear while the free money, you know, low interest rates and free money was getting pumped into the market. Well, what happens if this is a bubble and things get really bad and we come down? You can see how much Bitcoin pushed up up to our peak. And you can see how much Bitcoin has dropped just, just from this small little drop here. Imagine what will happen to Bitcoin if the indices come down 33% or possibly 50%. I just showed you the DXY, and we're in a huge falling wedge. Something major could be happening soon. All right, let me give you key support and just levels to pay attention to. So right now, and, and guys, I'm, I'm bearish. I believe we're coming down, but I, I will tell you this. If I'm wrong and we push up, the next point you want to watch is 24,742. That will be the 200-week uh, moving average to test as resistance. Remember, in every single bear market, we typically always stay above the 200-week. This time, we're going to be testing it as resistance. Uh, I, would, I would like to point out there is, I might have another chart to show you this, but 25,000 looks like an ideal point to short if we get above 24,742. I'm not expecting that to happen, but it is possible. Your current key support is our previous high back here. You can see right here at 
22,769. Uh, your next support level below on this M1 chart is 22,016. Uh, if we break below that, your next support level to watch is down here around 20,537. Uh, I would like to point out, let me just show you on this chart real quick, and, and why I'm saying that it's possible. You'll notice right here, we've got this wick right here at 25,400. So let me just put a horizontal line here to show you this. 20, 25,000. So you can see, let's just bring this down. I'm putting it right below this wick and right above this wick. So I think if we do push up, guys, if it gets super bullish, the point you want to think about putting in a short, or at least I will, will be 24,689 up to, and guys, red on my charts means short, and green means long. So the next, if we do push up, you know, we're looking at 24,689 up to 25,300. That would be an ideal point to put in a short. I do not think we'd go higher than that if we do push up, but I'm not expecting us to push up that high. I think we're going to hold here for a while. Remember, the, um, the FOMC is February 1st. Uh, this chart here, guys, this is just going to show you if, if you are in a short, <clears throat> I would have my stop above 23,200. You can see that this is currently, we got one wick here, one wick here. So it's possible we could push up 23,169, get rejected. If you get above that and hold support, then maybe we're headed to 24,000, 25,000. You can see this held a support at 22,842. This is just a, a trend line. It's been resistance, resistance, resistance. We broke above it as support. We had that crazy wick down. That's where we caught support on that P1 chart. And then we found support again. So we are above this trend line. So your next point to watch is 23,169. Again, you get above that, get more bullish. Until then, I would short this point. Uh, your next key support level below is right down here around 22,800. And your support levels below, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but 22,200, some other charts. Uh, this is on the smaller time frame. Uh, I've been showing, I've been in Discord, I've been kind of active showing support and resistance levels. So this is on the five minute. Just want to point this out. If you push up 20,213, keep in mind that is on par with this resistance level here around 23,169. That's a key point to watch. Uh, so this looks like this might turn into sport right here, 23,044. We'll have to see. And you can see we've been respecting this line here. That's what I've been showing you. And it was resistance, 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 resistance. It flipped as support. We dropped below it a bit, came back up into support. So your current support level to watch on the smaller time frame. If we break below 22,839, a lot of charts showing 22,800 is a key support level. If that breaks, we have a lot more downside. If we get above 23,200, then guys, it's going to be bullish. We have a lot more upside. But just keep in mind, guys, all these charts I showed you show that we could possibly have a lot of downside coming. And keep in mind, look at this crazy ass. <laughs> look at this, this wick that came up. I mean, this is insane. You know, a lot of people were expecting it to go higher. People were entering longs. Now they're trapped. I do not see price pushing back up. So these people that got in here will be able to get their money back. I think that was the top. And now it's going to be sideways and down up until um, February 1st when the Fed, you know, they had the FOMC meeting. That's another alert. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, if you do want to sign up for Bigot, um, my link's pinned in the first comment description. And if you want to sign up for these charts, so the website's optorkcrypto.com. Link's pinned in the first comment description. That's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.